Good day, everyone. Good day, Sir Mark. My name is Mark Justy Lampano from Batch 149, Caregiving Students from Philippine Women's University. For today's video, we are going to do... Guess what? Yes, you were right. We are going to show you the best way on how to clean a toilet and a bathroom. Start with, let me introduce you all the materials that we will be using in cleaning the toilet and bathroom up until replenishing bathroom amenities. Let's begin with the toilet cleaners. First, we do have the Domex. Of course, we do have the Zonrock bleach. We also have a glass cleaner, but this is optional, guys. And it comes with a squeegee. If you don't have a squeegee, you can use an old cloth. The next one, we do have a Zim Cleaners. It's a powder deodorizer and with active uh, germicides and baking soda. And of course, most importantly, we do have a toilet sanitizer spray. You can actually go to any local market. They do have a ready-made um, toilet sanitizer spray but if you will if you wanted to buy an expensive one or a branded one you can do so and of course we do have an albatross a deodorizer lemon flavor we do have a sponge we do have a garbage bag and of course for protection away from germs and to prevent infections always use rubber gloves also in cleaning the toilet we will be needing the set up toilet dustpan and broom and also we do have a toilet pump and also we do have a toilet brush we do have a pail and of course, a dipper or a pitcher. What's missing, guys? Of course, you cannot clean a toilet or a bathroom without a water. Of course, guys, after cleaning the toilet and bathroom, let's start replenishing bathroom amenities. Let's begin with a pair of two glasses with two toothbrush that comes with a toothpaste. Next, I have here alcohol, a mouthwash, a lotion, conditioner, a pair of shampoo, and so, lastly, a pair of hand towels. Now guys, um, let me show you the uh, current situation of the toilet. So of course, sometimes um, it's kind of um, dirty and sometimes smells nasty. So aside from wearing the rubber gloves, you have to uh, wear a, a face mask. Alright? So here guys, what can you catch in a toilet? So we have a dirty sink here. We have some trash. And... Look at the, the, the toilet. Look at the faucet. Look at the walls. Look at the mirror. Another faucet here. And we do have our pail and a, a dipper.
The first step, guys, start cleaning the tiles, shower, down to the bathtub. Since we don't have a bathtub here, I'll start cleaning the shower area. I'm going to start on the bathroom wall first, down to the tiles. Alright? I mean, the bathroom wall first, the faucet, and the tiles. Okay? So, I do have a separate pail here. Inside are the toilet cleaners. Okay? Let me use... The zinc cleanser first with uh, active germicides and baking soda and a toilet brush. There you go, guys. Uh, I start cleaning the bathroom wall first in the shower area. First. So, right after you clean the uh, bathroom walls, guys, including the, the faucet, guys, you start cleaning the tiles. The floor tiles. Now guys, the second step, you have to clean and sanitize the toilet bowl for 10 minutes, okay? So first, you have to flush the bowl, the toilet bowl, flushing the toilet bowl to wet the surface, okay? And the second one, you have to pour the toilet, the toilet cleaner to disinfect, alright? So I'll be using the uh, Zim cleaner. And of course, the Domex. So you have to put all over, okay? So um, here, guys, you are um, disinfecting and deodorizing all the areas included in the hidden surface of the toilet bowl, all right? So you have to leave this toilet bowl, all right? And soak this at least 10 minutes to soften the soil and make it easier to remove. Okay guys, while waiting for 10 minutes guys, you have to dispose all the trash in the dustbin, okay? You can actually use this dust, toilet dustpan and um, toilet broom. Some trash is here. So here guys, I only I only have one um, garbage bag here. So there are few, there are still some trash. Okay. Now guys, after disposing all the trashes or dirt to the dustbin guys, that's the time that you have to clean the toilet bowl. Alright? And remove all the dirt under the toilet ring. All right, so let's start cleaning. So since it's more than 10 minutes, guys, I'll be using the sponge, cleaning the toilet bowl. Okay, and let me use this. And guys, you can actually use this, the toilet pump, okay? If there's something, you know, that's blocking the toilet. But if there's none, that's perfectly fine. Alright, there you go. So, after you clean the toilet bowl and removing all the dirt under the rim, alright, that's the time, guys, that you are going to flush it again to rinse the toilet bowl. There you go. Alright, so after flushing it again to rinse the bowl, clean the toilet seat and cover. Since, guys, 
we don't have any toilet um, seat or cover guys so I'm gonna skip that part okay so the next is what we're going to do is to uh, remove the dirt and the watermarks urine waste sediment so I'm gonna start cleaning the outside part of the bowl the outside part including this Okay, so now guys, I am start cleaning the outside part of the toilet bowl. Make sure guys that you are paying attention to every edges under the toilet bowl. This is where you can actually see any unwanted dirt. Okay. So you have to clean this side and the other side. Okay. The next thing guys is dry and uh, polish the toilet bowl to prevent any uh, watermarks forming into the surface. Okay. So let's start here. This side. And in this side, and here, here, and uh, also you have to clean the toilet bowl cover. Since this bowl doesn't have a toilet bowl cover, guys, that's perfectly fine because there are other toilet bowls that has a toilet bowl cover. All right, there you go. Third step guys, you have to start scrubbing the faucet and the lavatory sink, okay? Let me show you. But of course, you have to put some powder sink cleanser, alright? Put some water. Let's scrub the faucet. Make sure guys, since uh, this brush, we, we've used this brush earlier, make sure that you raise it well. If you're going to use it again, um, cleaning the, the, the faucet and the, the lav lavatory sink, okay? So, this is the, the sink, uh, I'm sorry, the, the stopper. It's a rubber stopper, guys. There you go. And there you go. So don't forget cleaning the, the whole area of the lavatory sink. Okay, and guys, since we don't have any shower curtain, since we don't have any shower curtains, that's perfectly fine. But then again, guys, if you do, make sure, guys, that you, um, you know, clean the shower curtain, okay? What, what's the reason? The reason why we need to clean the shower tower is simply because, guys, that's the time that we are going to remove any stub or stains, eliminate the, eliminate the foul odor, and also kill the germs and bacteria okay the fourth step guys you have to clean all the bathroom wall okay we're already done cleaning the bathroom wall on the shower part so there are remaining bath bathroom walls that we have to to clean so let's start cleaning those and the other side too You have to put some powder. Powder, guys. 
and use the brush. Okay? Use the brush. So the fifth step, guys, you have to clean the mirror here. Okay? So it's up to you guys if you are going to use um, uh, an old cloth or any other detergent. But of course me, I'm using the the glass cleaner and the the old cloth, okay? Because sometimes guys, you're gonna see the dirt all over um, the mirror, like the watermarks, okay, forming um, in the surface. So let's just clean this. Sorry. There we go. Another one. So this is a tiny toilet mirror. So it's easy to clean. That's it. The sixth step, guys, you have to wash the drinking glasses. Okay. So guys, just a tip. I just bought. I just bought two pairs of rubber gloves. The, the first one, I use it cleaning the toilet and the bathrooms. And now I did change because I'm washing um, the, the glasses uh, with, this, uh, with this new pair. Okay? And also, you have to use uh, a different sponge soap in a dishwasher soap. Now, let's wash the glasses. So, you have to... Now, guys, I'm washing the glasses inside and out, from top to bottom, and the other one. Okay, top to bottom. Make sure, guys, that you are properly washing the, the glasses. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm done washing. I'm done washing the two glasses, alright? Um, I just need to, you know, um, set this aside and use this later for um, bathroom amenities. The seventh step guys, you have to clean shelves and cabinets. Since we don't have any single shelves or cabinets in our toilet guys or so I'm gonna skip the part but if you do have in your toilet guys you have to clean those okay you can actually buy any liquid furniture cleanser just like Pledge or Slenda okay the eighth step guys you have to polish all the chrome fixtures okay actually guys in uh, polishing any chrome fixtures it's actually an equipment guys like a drill polishing equipment but sometimes you can actually use any other um, liquid uh, polishing um, cleaner uh, to, to polish the chrome fixtures. Sample of the chrome fixtures that you have to polish are like this, the faucet. And since I don't have any shower here, I don't have any shower here. You can also fix any shower heads, um, like uh, the shower valves and handle of the shower or any doorknob or shower knob something like that okay the ninth um step guys you have to clean the lavatory stopper the lavatory stopper guys this is made of um, rubber okay so let's let's go ahead and clean the lavatory stopper so first we have to put some Toilet oil cleaner, like the Zoom cleaner. Okay. Cleaner. There we go. If you want to use um, a sponge, guys, that's better. Let me use another sponge. This is actually the sponge that I use when I wash the glasses. Okay, and let's rinse the stopper. 
Okay, right after pat dry. Okay, so right after you rinse the laboratory stopper, we're gonna set this up on the laboratory um, sink later when we set up the bathroom amenities. The 10th step guys, you have to rinse um, the lavatory sinks properly. So since earlier we are done scrubbing the lavatory sinks using this cleanser um, with active germicides and baking soda, it's time to rinse it properly. Let's go ahead. So here I have a, a pitcher of water. Let me put some and rinse properly. Let's pour some water again. Remember guys, we're not just rinsing the la the lavatory sink, the, the top part of the lava, lava, lavatory sink, okay? So you have to rinse the whole part of lavatory sink, including this part. All right, there you go. The 11th step, guys, you have to dry and polish the faucet and the lavatory sink. Like what I mentioned, guys, since I don't have any equipment like for polishing drill, but again, you can actually use any liquid um, polishing cleaner, okay? So let's go ahead and pat dry the faucet and the lavatory sink. The faucet, sorry, let's start with the faucet. And the laboratory sink. There we go. All right, so that's the 12 step, guys. You have to install the faucet knobs. So let, I, I'm gonna show you what the faucet knobs looks like. This is this is the faucet knob. So in our case guys, all of our faucet knobs are perfectly fine. But if you have any broken um, faucet knobs, if you can fix it, go and fix it. But if you can guys, you can actually look for any plumber to fix it. Okay. Actually guys, we are almost done. We are on the 13th step. So the 13th step is we have to replenish all the bathroom amenities. So I'm going to show you guys what are the sample of bathroom amenities and how they set it up. Alright, so this is how I set it up. Okay, so I have two glass, uh, water glasses here and a pair of toothbrush and with toothpaste. I have mouthwash, lotion, conditioner, and alcohol, and uh, I just need to put another uh, hand towel, and also a pair of soap, and shampoo. Here we go, guys. This is how you set up properly a bathroom amenities. That's it. Finally guys, for on the last step, we have to dispose all the trash in the trash bin. These are the trash that I have collected earlier. Let's go. So let's put all trashes on the trash bin and we're done. For the final touch guys, we want to make sure that our toilet is fully sanitized after cleaning so don't forget to use or to spray a toilet sanitizer spray of each of the corners of our toilet from the wall, bathroom wall and from the laboratory and of course on the toilet bowl
There you go guys. So that's gonna be the standard procedure on how to fully um, clean and sanitize the toilet and the bathroom.